I always wanted to be a part of the theater and uh, write. And I didn't know how you did that. I knew I didn't write music, and so therefore I was only half of a, an aspiration. But uh, I had a date with a girl named Patsy Vamus, and we went to number one Fifth Avenue. And I poured my heart out about wanting to do this. And she allowed us how another guy she was dating, called Phil Springer, uh, was a professional songwriter and a composer. And he'd written Moonlight Gambler and uh, Santa Baby, which was another uh, song. And uh, he would agree to meet me, she was sure, and kind of let me know whether or not I had talent, because that was also a question. Uh, am I any good at it? I know what I want to do, but can I do it? And uh, she said she would arrange it. She did. I went over to Phil's house by like three buses, took me there, and uh, I wrote a lyric on the bus, which, believe me, I can still recite, and I, on a matchbook, and I showed it to him. And he thought it was all right, you know, this little thing. Uh, but he had a tune that his collaborators, who included uh, Richard Adler and uh, Joan Javits was a girl he wrote with, uh, he had a tune, and he would play this tune. They hadn't come up with anything, could I? And uh, I sat beside him, and uh, it sounded like a movie, doesn't it? And he played this tune, and I started to write. And, uh, well, a couple hours later, I, I'd finished. I was scared to death, because if he told me, hey, this is no good, uh, I, I think I'd be out. I didn't have the guts in that way. I showed it to him, and he thought it was terrific. It was called I Never Loved Him Anyhow. And uh, he said, look, how much are you willing to do to be a songwriter? And I said, anything. And he said, I want you here every morning at 10 o'clock, and we'll work a full work day till like 5. I'll teach you everything I know about the music uh, business and songwriting, and uh, I'll make you a, a lyric writer if that's what you want to be. And I said yes, and that's what I did. I quit my job. No, I didn't really. I worked at night. And uh, I worked with Phil every day from 10 to 5. And then I Never Loved Him Anyhow was published and sung by Carmen McRae. And that was a big deal for me. Well, we had like three or four songs published that first year. And we made $80. And uh, I was in heaven. You know, I mean, I was doing it. And that was all that mattered to me.